Well, it's that time again. Time for another whiskey video. And I'm sitting here in my quigdom with uh, a couple of frontal lobotomies. Um, this one here is uh, got th some dust on it. I've had this a while. It's been under my bar for a considerable period of time. Now we're into June of uh, 2019. And I got this on the 17th of August, 2018. So I'm slowly getting to the point where what I'm trying now has been here for like a year. But it's still a new thing to me since I haven't opened it yet. It is the... I got the backside to you. It's the, there. VB, Virginia Black... American Whiskey, Whiskey American, or Whiskey American, 40% alcohol by volume, 750 mils, it's gold, it's sparkly, bling. I have not opened this box up yet, so I don't even know what the bottle looks like. Oh, fancy looking bottle. Shit, look at that. It must be good if the bottle is that, that fancy. Here's another one for the wall. So now, what does it say about this? I don't do a lot of research, so um, I don't know. It, it looks cool, though. I mean, it's, it looks it looks even chic and, and it's blingy with the gold on there. It's got a gold tap top. I think this um, something to peel somewhere. Yes, there's a thing to peel off right here, and I think that was it. It was just just a little black, a little black tabbed thing, and I think that's the only seal there was. It's probably a screw top, but I might be surprised. It is, it is a screw top. Slightly loose one too, until it's tightened all the way. Oh, and there's a little stop, it goes click at the end. That's cool. It's almost as cool as the uh, Highland Park corks that um, First, let's pour some water. <laughs> it's almost like those Highland Park corks where it, it goes on like a regular cork and then you turn it a little bit and it locks in place. Oh, I got water. Water that tastes a little bit like four roses. That's going to be wonderful. Oh, nice. It just has that... that that little tint of four roses. That's really nice. And I got myself a Whiskey Scout glass from the Whiskey Scout. I'm still trying to figure out what the eight and the three are for, but someday somebody might tell me. And here we go with the Virginia Black Whiskey American. <sighs> Needs a little more. After all, it's only 40%. <laughs> there, that's that's good. That's a quick size dram that's 50 milliliters. Poured a little bit on the outside of the glass, but that's not a problem. Uh oh. Am I gonna cross thread? Yeah, I almost cross threaded this thing. What do you know? I like that little click at the end. That's that's nice. It, you don't hear it. You just feel it go click. Okay. Let's get things out of the light here so that I can be seen better. And we'll, we'll get to this one in due time. Ah. Right off the bat I'm getting a citrus kind of thing. Citrus and brown sugar. Definite citrus and brown sugar. So this is not strictly a bourbon. I 
because it's an American whiskey. So it can be aged in used um, casks or barrels. It's uh, sweet, quite sweet. The sweet is like a, like a honey sweetness. Very much a honey sweetness. Now the citrus seems to be moving aside a little bit, giving me some more of that honey sweetness. Not getting, uh, not getting any cherry notes. It's more of a honey sweetness and some citrus and brown sugar, or maybe even golden sugar. That is that they, like they call cassonade in French. Mm. I'm getting just a touch of a, a chlorine note. The chlorine that you'd get from a swimming pool. Along with the honey. Am I going to pull any more complexity out of this? Oh, there's a bunch of writing on the side here. I did not see this because it was inside the box. It says here on the side, Virginia Black. Decadent American whiskey, whiskey American decadent, American whiskey product of USA. This gold is sort of blingy and hard to read. Uh, wait, maybe I can magnify it a little bit. Return for a refund. Please enjoy responsibility. Responsibility. Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Ah, we know where that comes from. It's a Midwest grain product. MGP. It doesn't say on here, but we know. Not from Virginia, it says on it. <laughs> because we know it's from Indiana. Okay, cool. I like that where it says not from Virginia. That's your disclaimer right there. You know, the way I am is when I see something new on the shelf, or new to me on the shelf that I've never seen before, I have to go out and get it. And when there are new things on the, there are always new things on the shelf in British Columbia. They're always bringing in new products and products that are new to us that we haven't seen before, but that have been available many places for a long time. I don't know how long this Virginia Black has been going. I don't know how long MGP has been making it. It could be a, an old brand from uh, 150 years ago. Because I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that whiskey was produced in Virginia before it was even produced in Kentucky. The first settlers from, from uh, you know, places like Holland and Germany and naturally Scotland and Ireland and the UK. I think people settled in Virginia before they settled in uh, Kentucky. And they were making whiskey in the 1700s, definitely. So who knows? More of that sweetness, that honey sweetness, and that uh, Not getting a lot of barrel char or no smoke, it's just sweet. Brown sugar, golden sugar, honey. Not so much citrus as there was off when I first opened it, but it's still present. Now, yeah, let's see. I got my little. Cheers device. I, I found it underneath a pile of stuff. 
Ah, can pie. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, that means we better taste some of this. Okay. Very sweet, but not to the point of being cloyingly, sickly sweet, but it's very sweet. It's honey. I'm also getting some more of that citrus. It's tingling on the sides of the mouth, but not, not from high alcohol content. After all, it's only 40%. It's, um, it's got a lot of sweetness. It's got flavor. The flavor is sweet. There's no mistaking about that. I think it's a good starter for when you're going to go towards uh, stronger things. The mouthfeel, the texture, is thin. The texture is, is thin, but then the aftertaste of that sweetness and honey and golden sugar and coats the sides of the mouth. It really coats the mouth and it stays there for a while. Still, the mouthfeel and the texture are light and soft, but it's still hanging on. I'm still getting some of that golden sugar. It's still coating the mouth. It's still there. Hmm. Interesting experience. I wonder if there's more details on it. Ah. Now, after I've ingested a couple of uh, mouthfuls, I'm getting some cinnamon on the nose, which I was not getting before. Cinnamon, cloves a little bit. This is opening up a bit. Getting some oak, but not a lot. I think the sweetness just covers up the oak. Yeah. I wonder if adding some water to it, that is sweet. Even though it's only 40%, I wonder if adding some water to it is going to remove some of the sweetness. Let's, you know, let's give it a couple of drops. Oh, it's one. Okay, let's say about three standard drops, you know, a drop and a half plus a drop and a half. Let's see if this takes some of the sweetness away, it makes it a little bit more enjoyable. Naturally, it will probably thin the mouthfeel a little bit too. Okay, now I'm getting more wood. I'm getting... Yeah, virgin oak. Virgin oak door planings, pencil shavings, not so much the citrus. And it's still somewhat sweet. Still getting that honey note along with the wood. Virgin oak, yeah. Okay, try it. on the palate. Okay. On the palate, 
the two drops of water or three standard drops have taken away a lot of the sweetness made it more enjoyable to my palate even though it's only 40 percent take away some sweetness and give it some oak yes I could enjoy this on a hot day. On a hot day on a patio with a, a parasol above. And um, in a tumbler on ice. So now we're getting some oaky notes. Ice might work with this. And for me, ice doesn't work with a lot of things. Well, I'll let you know if this thing changes any. I don't think it will. But it's a interesting little try. Oh, wait a minute. Before I before I sign off or say goodbye, I might as well tell you what this cost me at the Uptown. Oh, I bought it locally. It's just like a couple blocks from here. Virginia Black, $53.49, 10-cent bottle deposit, goods and services tax, $2.67, uh, liquor tax, BC liquor tax, $5.35, coming up to a whopping grand total of $61.61. .61. We round it down to $0.60 because we don't have pennies anymore. Unless, of course, I paid with... Um, Unless I paid with, uh, what do you call that stuff, uh, Interact. If I paid with Interact, it would have charged me to one cent. All right. Cheers. Food quick. Uh, food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs>